ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു ന്യൂ വാട്ടർ കളർ ട്യൂട്ടോറിയൽ ഐ എം വനിത സ്മംഗത്തിൽ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വി വിൽ ട്രൈ ടു മേക്ക് ദിസ് സിമ്പിൾ വാട്ടർ കളർ പ്രാക്ടീസ് സിമ്പിൾ ബോർഡ് സീൻ ആൻഡ് ഐ വിൽ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ദ എൻ്റെ പ്രോസസ് ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ദ വീഡിയോ ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് ഇൻ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ടു മൈ ചാനൽ പ്ലീസ് ഡു സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ടു ദ ചാനൽ ആൻഡ് പ്ലീസ് പ്രസ് ദറ്റ് ബെൽ നോട്ടിഫിക്കേഷൻ ഐക്കൺ ഐ വിൽ ബി റിലീസിംഗ് മോർ വീഡിയോസ് എവ്രി വീക്ക് വിതൗട്ട് ഫർദർ വെയ്റ്റിംഗ് ലെറ്റ് എസ് ഗെറ്റ് ഇൻ ടു ദ വീഡിയോ right here i am using a cold press watercolor paper and the size is uh, slightly less than a4 since we are going for the vertical alignment but that is the portrait mode uh, we are will be using slightly less than a4 size and i am starting with a very simple drawing of a boat okay so this is from imagination or you could say that this is from memory because uh, i have made uh, Uh, a lot of boat scenes so this is uh, this could be from memory and uh, simple shape for the boat okay and let us also mark uh, some details of the boat very very very, very little okay and this doesn't have to be accurate i'm not going for accurate uh, and pretty drawing here because this is supposed to be a simple tutorial okay so you should be able to follow along and uh, let us mark the reflection as as well and i think this is pretty uh, done well i mean it's a simple one so let us make another boat and a smaller one maybe slightly farther away and uh, the it is slightly facing more towards us okay simple shapes for the boat and you you just have to have a Uh, an idea of the perspective of the boat in different angles right i think uh, yeah some i just marked uh, the horizon also above the boats and i think we are pretty much done with the with the drawing and we can start the washes now okay so the idea is first to give uh, give a light tone light wash for the for the boats and we'll keep it for drying okay and then we will paint uh, uh, with uh, other colors for the context okay so this is uh, a way i do this coloring first is coloring of the boat first is so that i don't actually forget about the boat while washing usually i have a tendency to uh, when i do the washes i used to go pretty fast and i often Uh, paint wash over the drawing okay now let us let it let this get dried and uh, this is now fully dry and let us go for the sky i am using a very grayish tone here so mostly it is a uh, very pale wash of paint is gray and a little bit of uh, uh, blue and red that is what i i used i used to mix and mostly these colors are driven from the leftover colors in the palette but it's a gray color and uh, maybe a little bit of a purplish gray and i'm also suggesting some clouds here and uh, while the 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 initial wash is still wet see i didn't make the paper wet i i have washed the sky over a dry paper okay now the clouds are done wet on wet and as you can see the the clouds are getting spread i have kept the paper at an angle and maybe around 30 degree angle so that whenever whatever i do the washes it will have a tendency to flow down so i'm slightly adding uh, a greenish wash now i mean on top of the grayish sky i'm slightly adding the greenish wash and i'm being pretty careful leaving the white top of the boat okay i am pretty careful about washing around the boat okay so that the boat has uh, some crisp edges so if you if your drawing has any issues you can fix those issues at this particular point and the idea is that i have a i have a very grayish uh, kind of a cloudy sky i mean sort of a monsoon or misty sky and uh, and around the horizon that is sort of merging with the water okay i don't have a clear demarcation for the water and the sky 
and now I am making the water a little bit more darker in tone as I, as I am coming nearby. See the colors I used is uh, mainly a little bit of viridian and maybe a little bit of grey and maybe a touch of yellow, yellow ochre also. So it's a, uh, you can try and mix this kind of a color, you know what uh, the color of uh, water. Uh, so you could, you could mix depending upon the brand of colors that you are using, you may, you may, uh, you may have to try out for the colors. But primarily it is a little bit of viridian and uh, uh, yellow ochre and a touch of uh, maybe purple. Okay. Purple or purplish gray you would say. May, I have used the is gray and a touch of red. Right. Now I have done little bit of ripples and this is done while the the previous wash is still wet. Okay, damp. Okay, so and uh, this this once dry will give a feeling that it is it is kind of there is some kind of moment here. Now it is fully dry. Okay. Now we are uh, ready to get the details of uh, the boat. I am using a very soft round brush with a good tip. I am using a Chinese calligraphy brush for the details. Okay. Uh, if you don't have a Chinese calligraphy brush, you could use a soft round brush uh, with a good tip. So I am using the brush, uh, the calligraphy type brush because I use this uh, similar brush for the big washes and small details. Right. I think this much of details is sufficient for the top of the boat and some suggestion of the details for the farther boats. And let us now think of uh, how we should do uh, the maybe the reflections. Uh, usually it is dark where the boat touches the water. So let us make a dark line under the boat and uh, we have to give some shape. I mean. Let us give some shape for the reflection. So initially I gave some local color of the boats. Okay, some warm color. And then we will go for some bluish green sort of a, uh, reflection. Right. So first we have made a dark line and then the local color. And then now I am going for a greenish sort of a reflection. And uh, what should be the shape of the reflection? You have to do a little bit of observation on the boats and reflections. And uh, we need, you need to understand. Okay, if you have a reference image, you have the reflection in front of you. And uh, if you don't have a reference image, you need to study the shape of the reflections uh, uh, to do it in a convincing manner. Yeah, I think this much is sufficient for the main boat. If you are finding this uh, tutorial videos informative and if you are finding something to learn from there, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, press the bell notification. I will be uh, releasing um, videos at least once in a week. That is uh, my current target. Okay. Please support me by sub subscribing it and sharing uh, your likes and if you have any questions or uh, suggestions, please do write them in the comment box below. And your shares, your likes and your comments will help me in taking this to a wider audience uh, who may find this video useful. Okay, So, I think now the reflection is uh, reasonably good. I mean, and I have also applied some colors on the boat. Um, earlier the tones for the boat were looking little very light so we are giving some tonal corrections on the boat just to make it a little bit more convincing okay i think uh, the boats are reasonably okay now let us make a couple of people out here so i'm using slightly thicker pigment here mainly uh, maybe uh, burnt sienna and uh, Pain is grey. These are the colors I am primarily using. And I am starting with the, the legs and the upper body. And it is just a shape. Okay. And what should be the size of the figure depends upon the overall scale of the image and what, should, what, is, the, what is the size of the boat. 
in relation to a person. So we need to just guess and work it out because this is from imagination. So I am making two figures here. Okay, I am not sure whether I will. It will be two figures or more. Let us see. And uh, this is very very rough. Okay, it is not accurate. I, I think for this kind of uh, images uh, works. Very rough suggestive figures are more than enough. Okay, uh, I think this this guy can be sitting inside, and uh, maybe there could be another guy who is standing probably. Okay, these are just suggestion. Okay, I, I know that this is not accurate. Uh, I am well aware of it. And uh, let us let us make it slightly bigger because this image should be slightly bigger than the figures in the other boat so let us make it slightly bigger because these are this this boat is slightly closer to us and the figures should be slightly bigger i think these figures are okay let us make some suggestion for something on the boat okay i don't know what it is let there be something in the boat apart from those two guys right so I think I'll make a kind of a vertical element here. So it could, uh, and we need to go for some reflections now. I think. Okay, and that went to wide. And let us make some reflection. So the reflection, as it is further away from the boat, I am making it some broken shapes there. So as you can see, if you observe that uh, the reflections which is far away from the boat will usually get broken. Okay. I think, yeah, this, this is sufficient for the, the reflection of the uh, first boat. And yeah, I think these reflections are sufficient uh, for uh, now because we are not going for very accurate uh, uh, I mean painting this is just see the idea of this kind of painting is to develop your imagination and uh, and to practice the skills okay practice the watercolor brush works I'm using thick orange from directly from the tube and I'm uh, applying them on the face face and the exposed uh, body parts okay and uh, some some orange lines since we have touched used the color we are using that color so let us see if I, we, I can use for anywhere else I think yeah that's that is fine some darker line to make the boat little bit more interesting okay I think uh, it is pretty much done so I I, I, I would say that uh, you, you may have a tendency to keep on making it even better and better and beyond a point you will be spoiling it. So we have to be aware that uh, we, we should not overwork. Okay. I think this much is sufficient for the reflection and if you wanted we could make it very much more realistic but I don't want to make it very much realistic. I think the shadow here went a little too narrow so I just corrected the figure. Yeah. I think it is reading reasonably okay now. Just uh, what what I would suggest is that you just take a few steps away and see if it is reading well. Now I am adding uh, white highlights on the top of the head and on shoulder on the top of the head and on uh, above the shoulder so that it will create an illusion that some light is hitting above and the figures will sort of uh, pop out okay some touches of uh, white and this is white watercolors not gouache or acrylic it is white watercolor chinese white and i am using a brand of watercolor called camel which is an indian brand you could use i mean whatever brand that is available to uh, you in your local market, uh, I don't. I don't want that you should. You should wait for this particular brand to be available. So you you please do the practice with whatever brands that you have. 
I think we are pretty much done and we can close it. Thank you so much for watching this and uh, as I told earlier, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification and also please uh, share your comments, questions uh, and uh, if, if you like this video, please uh, give a thumbs up. Okay. So thank you very much and I hope that uh, this video was uh, informative and useful to you. Please do practice and uh, if you have any questions, please do let me know. Uh, so we will see you in the next video. Bye bye.